What's up, YouTube? It's the Sage, and I got a battle with Arm Fro. It's a roulette battle. This is my first black and white roulette battle, so I thought I should upload it. It it's sentimental to me and all that good stuff. So let's go. So he leads off with that plant girly thing, and I lead off with my Mormon, my key, clinky clank or something like that. I switch out, go with my Tauros, predicting the sleep powder, get that plus one, and I'm gonna go for the earthquake here, predicting his switch, and he does switch out, goes into his cobalt, and it it. I thought it would just do a big chunk to it, but it gets a crit. I'm not sure if it mattered, since I was life orb, adamant, all that stuff, but whatever. So he goes into his deoxy speed, and he goes for that superpower, and I'm like, alright, I can live one superpower from Deoxys. So, I do, with 127 HP, and I go for that Mega Horn, which I should have gone for the um, Afro Break, just because I didn't want that miss chance, because if I missed, this battle would probably went different ways. So, uh, he goes into a Sandman, and he goes for that, for Bug Buzz, and takes out my Tauros, which I should have left to, like, live, because I know this thing is going to go for Sleep Powder somehow. So, I go into IR Spin, and, um, I go for the Ice Beam, and I take it down to a Sash, but then the f annoying little Hacks comes in, and he gets a Freeze. So, I'm like, alright, this is not going to be a fun roulette battle if he gets hacked out. So, I'm going to go and go for the recover here, just keep recovering until he gets his, um, until he thaws out, which he does the second turn, gets that bug buzz off, and I only live with 16 HP, so technically he was supposed to kill me right after the, um, after the freeze, but whatever, because I die from life over here. So, I go into my Anto, and he goes into his Black Zebra, and I know the overheat's coming, so I gotta switch out and go into my Metal Bird, just because I have the Potter out. He, switch, he goes, he predicts my switch, goes for the Substitute, and so I go for the Aqua Jet to um, break his sub, goes to the Wild Bolt, and kills my Metal Bird, but it's okay, because now he's out from a sub, and he's a lot less scary than I thought. So, <coughs> ah, sorry. Um, uh, so yeah, so I bring in my Toxic Coat, go for that Vacuum Wade, and hit him, so it probably will kill him, because these Zebras don't have much uh, defense or special event TVs and stuff. So I go for it. It hits, it switches up, goes into Lilian, and takes the vacuum wave. Not as well as I thought it would, but whatever. So he goes to the sleep powder, and I knew that if I did the priority, it would just be stupid because I knew he's gonna switch out. So, um, yeah. So he switches out, goes into a zebra, and I'm like, I get the three turn, like, sleep, and I'm like, fuck! I usually get the first turn, but whatever. At least it makes him feel better about the freeze. And then there's another crit here, which probably didn't matter at all because I have twice. Crit. But here comes the winner of this match. I go into my Mormon, or as people know him as Clickly Clank. So on the switch, I go for the gear change. And now I'm at plus one and plus two, uh, plus one attack, plus two speed. So I'm going to go for the frustration here. Just take out that, uh, whatever that thing's name is. I don't even like to say it. And um, he's gonna go to Smexy Vexy. I'm gonna go for the Gear Saucer just to finish him off, and it's gonna take him out one hit. Not even gonna take the second gear. So last Pokemon's Black Zebra. It's pretty much good game. So good game, Fro. It was fun. That was my first ever like rotation battle. I liked it. Thanks for letting me do it with you and stuff. No homo. And later, guys.